okay, perfect. I guess you can see my screen now. Then first I would like really to share my gratitude and greetings to you all who are in the call right now. Um, then today, as you mentioned, is a very special day in history. First, USA will vote for their 46th president today, later in the day, uh, knowing that one of them is a climate change skeptical and that this world still exists in 2020. And on the other side of the Atlantic, where we are in Europe, there is a large amount of the countries that are confined in their home for the second time of the century due to a global pandemic. COVID-19 have been shaking our world and industry upside down, looking most of the population down. And it is very likely the occasion for us all to take the chance and duty to rethink the way we work, plan, produce and communicate. Then during these particular times when resources appear to be more restrained than ever and not infinite as assumed for decades, it seems that we need to be particularly careful on the way we approach communication as a whole and consider that less is more. I've often asked myself when companies and advertisers will avoid selecting frequency as a performance indicator. Mm, it's not because you see something often that you like it more. Advertisers need to consider it with greater caution the consumers as a clever entity that operates and not as a senseless machine that would be convinced to a specific purchase or action just by a high number of OTS that we call an advertising opportunity to see. Our cognitive system tends to close itself to repetitions that finally pass unnoticed or occulted. Frequency without relevance is the biggest possible wastage of inventory and ultimately budget. It's been proven that cognitive effects of advertising repetition were examined by an Oxford academic research and disclosed that attitudes and purchase intentions were not affected by message repetition. And most importantly, cognitive responsive responses became more negative as exposure frequency increased. I can share later the source if someone asked for them. Nowadays, that it's discernible that we live in a defined environment and that less is more, it seems essential for advertisers and brands to adapt their strategies to enter a new paradigm where relevance should be the main key performance indicator and that frequency should be considered only if fulfilling a purpose. In this new context, where purpose is taking a more preponderant place, memorability as well as likability should be the main set of objectives of any campaign, which leads to our new chapters. Brands will need to find out ways to give back to society. The COVID-19 present electroshock have been having a number of consequences that are not all unveiled at this stage. While one, one of them is becoming more and more ostensibly visible, excess of wealth will be likely to be more and more perceived as a lack of redistribution and an abuse of our natural limited resources. In parallel, and heading to that same direction, we've seen a number of brands using greenwashing and abusing sustainable messages by using misleading environmental claims far from the real attributes of their brands. These two observations make us believe that it's time for a new type of communication to wait, taking a stance opposite direction to the structural approach of advertising, aligning for once production with communication, linking message with action. Therefore, we think that a new type of advertising needs to take place that we decided to call give back advertising type. Companies should be actively looking to be part of a social and environmental scheme to not appear only as being the cause of a global scale CO2 emissions problem, but part of a joint solution. It is time for brands to show that they can have a positive impact on our environment and maneuver away from the only tech, tech scheme that should be replaced by a give back one. The give back new advertising concepts will be taking corporate social responsibility to an entire new level. The first parameter 
of the give back concept to make advertising more sustainable, would tackle the social impact of the brand and would require a maximum proportion of wage from top to bottom that should be instigated by the brand itself. If we want to be more sustainable and to have a more sustainable world, we need to ensure that individuals and workers can think beyond their own survival. A maximum proportion wage would ensure that the top wage, wage range should never be more than 10 times the lowest one. And this would ensure two things. First, a fairer redistribution of the wealth between the different entities that participate to the brand value and equity. And secondly, this would enable to leverage the living standard of the population, enabling people to be more concerned about ecology than simple survival. The seed is the second principle of the give back advertising concept. Would we require brands to ensure refraining urgently to be part of the pollution emission problem, not only restraining their CO2 footprint, but also using recycling material whenever possible, treating water and protect, protecting their immediate natural resources and engaging themselves to refrain themselves from using fossil fuel or virgin plastic materials. The third principle of the give back advertising concept would set a minimum percentage of the brand profits that needs to be shared into tangible environment biodiversity protective initiatives, fighting actively and earnestly for the environment. We would be talking about considerable budgets that would make a real change in the fight for the protection of our environment and the biodiversity, not as we have seen in the past of like a few peanuts thrown to the flashlights but subsequent proportional forms and showing to fight with dignity and appropriate gravity against climate change. And let me illustrate the last point um, with a, a kind of a memory from childhood. When I was a kid, when I was taking the Parisian metro, you are often submerged by the disgusting smell of drains and sewers. I always thought that if a brand like Ariel would be managing the problem of smell, clean the metro floor and advertise their brand mm. along, along with this, with this wonderful smell, part of their DNA, it would be one of the most relevant, memorable piece of advertising experience. Truly pertinent to the user and probably more cost efficient than any billboard or any piece of advertising. If we leverage that principle to another globally known FMCG brand, such as Lion, for example, and if we imagine one second that they would not only ensure to use 100% recycled plastic in their packaging, but also that they would redistribute 20% of their profits to wildlife protection, such as Lions, it would be probably the most likable campaign we've ever seen and would ensure the preferability of the brand on the very long term. On a more specific level, you might have the strong desire to ask me and you, what do you do as an agency level to change the world you live in? Then in 2014, this is when we decided that it was time for a structural change in the industry and that profit was not any longer the main KPIs to measure success. Advertising, so we thought that could not be impermeable to all these gigantic consumer behavior involvements and needed to embrace these changes. We thought also that it was obvious that we needed a greater transparency in the advertising industry and in many different levels. This is why we create 360 Agency Berlin based on what we call sustainable advertising compiling with the three following pillars. Then first, we align the message with the essence of the brand by promoting exclusively sustainable brands. And this is a very important factor. This enables us to avoid greenwashing. We assess the level of sustainability based on the three following criteria. We look at the brand certifications 
covering their respect of the international labor rights. We look at their environmental impact and respect of local environmental laws by looking again into their certification. And finally, we look at their corporate social responsibility parameters they have in place before to identify if they compile with all requisites and if we can work together. We would not be able to talk about sustainable advertising without talking about digital online privacy that we actively fight for and which is our second pillar. We believe that the regulation should come from the industry itself. Therefore, we plan a digital campaign. When we plan a digital campaign, we strongly believe that we should avoid to be too intrusive, avoid retargeting when possible, and instead trying to reach new customers with older techniques. We strongly believe that it would benefit not only consumers, but also the brands by restoring trust and respect between both entities. This would be nothing without our third pillar that concentrate on helping eldest countries part of our own CSR terms. We also lead workshops in least developed countries. We try our best to help sustainable initiatives from these markets to grow and flourish by initiating them to online advertising, creating a positive ecosystem between sustainable production, promotion and exchange. As if we want to actively fight against climate change, we need these countries on board as we believe that climate change cannot be fought by only one region, but needs a global effort. This is what we call sustainable advertising, hence a mix of various advertising disciplines and expertise, all converging towards structural sustainable changes and fur new practices within this industry. It is the solution for advertising to survive and regain credibility. It is clearly in our interest as advertisers to regain trust from consumers and make advertising more sustainable. To clutter this nice talk, think tank, bottle thrown in the sea, it seems essential to remind that the power of creative is immense and can largely influence collective consciousness. Let's keep all remembering that today ideas can spread, spread at a vertiginous speed and that we can all become strong advocates of change. There is an important work and needed effort from all of us to lead these inspirational conversations and realizations triggering the thoughts that another world is possible and that it's starting now. Thank you, everyone.